Doug, don't give me that lawyer face. People still showed up tonight. Things can't be that bad. Actually, things have taken a turn. We're getting attacked by Christian conservatives. We have those in Manhattan. The Family Travel Council's organizing a boycott. You'd be shocked how much influence they have. That's the kind of thing that would only entice my target clientele. I don't think the business has the luxury of waiting around to see. I'm sorry, Chuck. For PR, if nothing else, it needs to seem that you're no longer in charge. You need to hand over operations of the hotel, at least temporarily. Perhaps a family member... I'll do it. Doug, give us a moment. I promise you, Jack, that will never happen. Then I'll wait. And when your beloved hotel is bankrupt and empty, I'll swoop in and give you a fair market price. I'm sure there's some copper pipes I could salvage. This was your plan, wasn't it? No. But I'm totally going to reap its rewards. You took what was mine. Now I'm going to take what's yours. At least you know it's staying in the family. I told you there'd be a new scandal before the day was out. But we can talk about that later. What's wrong? A boycott. Doug says I have no choice but to sign my hotel over to someone else. Jack nominated himself. Of course he did. I can take over. I don't think signing the hotel over to my 19-year-old girlfriend would ease the public's mind. What about Lily? She's Bass Industries. The last thing I want is my father's company bailing me out. I don't see what choice you have. DNA results. What do they say? Looks like I've got another choice. <laughs>